In general, we know that humans were created by our Creator from the soil. But if we know in more detail what kind of soil we were created from, we will be inspired to explore various opportunities in science and technology for the good of human life on this earth. The Quran is a very accurate source for tracing the origin of this life. Because the Quran is the explanation direct from the Creator Himself. Let us look at the details of the verses that explain the human creation. I will start by drawing the target we want to know from these verses, namely the set of raw materials for human creation. Then I will compare it with the soil science, especially regarding type of soil. Then I will map between the news from the Quran and modern science. <laughs> First it says from dust, due to the size of dust, it might from dry clay or silt. Second, it says from earth. So it is soil in general. Third, it says from clay. It is general clay. The position will be likely here. Fourth, it says from sticky clay. Clay always sticky when it is wet. Fifth, it says clearly from dry clay from decayed mud. It contains clay and silt. Sixth, it is specifically mentioned dry clay, and stressing further like pottery. The last one mentioned extract of clay, the purest form of clay. From what has been revealed, we can now map. These are the main ingredients of human creation. Interestingly, there is no human creation from sand. Then what is the importance of this revealing for science and technology? Because humans are not created from sand, but the majority of their raw materials are clay or even pure clay. It is implied that to be able to bring life even on the desert we need clay. How are we going to bring clay into the desert economically? By spraying the desert with liquid nano clay to convert it into cultivable land. Our LNC technology among others is inspired by this revealing. Furthermore, if even the desert can be cultivated, then with the permission of Allah we can enrich the land which is still arid anywhere. This revealing also inspired us to institutionalize the Green Waqaf movement to make the earth prosperous with his guidance and science.